Hello, and welcome to Crash Landing with me, the most of everyone, okay, Mr. Sorrett. I have been very busy between episodes, kind of got a little carried away, in fact. Uh, we've got, we've got a lot of salt in there. We've also got a lot more food. I've planted a few different types of foods, or food items, uh, a few different trees out there as well. We've got avocados, bananas... Uh, both new, I think. i uh, got some dragon fruit up the top there as well. We've got chickens. You can probably see on the mini-map. I bothered to make myself a little chicken pen out over that way. And, uh, yeah, we've been collecting a lot of eggs and chickens. We've also got asparagus, garlic. Uh, there's some nutmeg there somewhere. Eggplants. Eggplants are actually quite good. Uh, stuffed eggplant, bit of garlic, uh, eggplant. Doesn't need much more than that, and you get yourself a meal. So, yeah, we've got quite a lot of different food at the moment, uh, including carrot cakes, chicken pot pies, sunflower wheat rolls, stuffed eggplants, and I've maxed out on a lot of the other ones. Well, not maxed out, but I've got at least a full stack of a number of different items there. Uh, what else have I been doing? Well, apart from that... Expanding the dirt. Not a great deal. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's not a, that's a lie. I've got an elevator down, and we've got a lot more dug out down here. Quite a lot more dug out. Needed this down here because the shovel just kept breaking. Now I have also added conveyor belts. These things are reasonably cheap to make. And I've got them right the way around the base, so every night all the mobs come straight to here. Not all of the items... Oh, there's an egg there. Neat. Not all the items are actually collected though. I've left a gap right here. They were kind of getting stuck. Wouldn't get dragged over. But it does mean in just a couple of nights that I've had it up... Chicken. We've... Yeah, <laughs> we've just about filled this up. Got a lot of feathers at the moment from all the chickens I've been killing. Oh, and just a way of getting across there. All right, a lot of food in here to collect, but that's not what we're here for. We want to go to the city, and I have actually decided there is one more thing that I want to do, and that is make a wooden gear. Well, there's something else I want to do apart from make the wooden gear. And I think I've got it out here. Yep, we put the wooden gear like so. We get ourselves a grindstone. And if we grab some sticks, we get ourselves a wooden crank. A bit of ferrous, a bit of iron. I've made up a fair few seed bricks as well as a lot of other ores. Now if we just get stuck on that little glow nook thingamajiggy. We'll come in here. We can't go just yet because, well, it's night time. Long queue down, right there, why not? We want to put the ferrous and the iron in here and crank it. I think it's eight turns. Or something along those lines will do a stack or... Mm, I'm not too sure. Anyway, we'll just keep going. If you've got nothing in there, you will break this, the, the crank. But, I've got a lot of sticks, so I'm not too worried about that. You can just hold down, don't need to keep clicking, but I'm a little old school. I, I like to click, if you hear the clicking noise. Anyway, what this is going to do, once we've got a little bit of the ferrous done as well, we can hurry it along a little. Switch it around, get a bit of the ferrous as well. I think I've got the right amount that I'm going to need. It's a little bit time con no, it's, it's going to go through the iron. Of course it is. A little time consuming. Uh, until you get a good, reliable source of power, though, this is about as good as you can hope for. And that reminds me, we full up just about. We are out there. Let's just whack the jungle saplings through. That'll get me a few more sticks anyway. Keep this going. 
Alright, we are up to our ferris. Good. The ferris you get just from smelting up your nickel. So, two of you and one ferris gets you the invar blend. There is a reason why I want the invar. It, it is a very good material to be using. Um, oh, I'm about to run out of water. Not for running out of water. For a few things like shears. Shears last much longer if you make it out of invar. But the reason we want it before we get to the city is for armour. I am overheating quite a lot. And I'm kind of sick of overheating. So I want to see if we can't switch up our armour. Invar is meant to be much better for overheating. Alright, I'm going to grab a bunch of bottles because we're going to take those with us as well. Fill you up. It might not be such a bad idea if we make a couple of camel packs now that I think about it. Uh, camel pack is made. A bit of leather and a bottle. That was too easy. <laughs> Way too easy. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and. Okay, it's as good as we're going to get. So we'll max these out so that we can just. I don't want to. Actually, that'd be quite, quite handy to fill it up with cake. Oops, we don't need that many in the one. We're going to take care of our hunger as well. We'll put some cake in there. Uh, sadly, not possible. And we'll get one more. Make sure we've got all of them filled up. I'll put two away and I'll keep one on me. Whack you in there. I've already got one of the tanks. Obviously I've made a few more tanks. That's already all gone. Hmm. Keep filling up whilst we're, we're getting this done, please. Get the leather away. Sticks. We can get rid of you. I've got a bunch of cobble that we can use. A lot of the glow nooks, glowstone nooks. I'll keep those. I have leveled up my mattock as well. Alright, we want you on us. I'm going to get you out ready, just in case. We may see why it's... Um, yeah, the the there are a few buildings that can have things like energy cells in them. So we want to be prepared just in case there is. Right, I'm going to take a little bit of wood as well, just in case we need to craft something. Right, next, oh, I want to take a bunch of these. These do stack as well. There you go. Who needs that? Take all you. I might as well take the lot. Uh, apparently they only stack to four though. Alright, that's alright. No, they stack to five. Oh, some of them have a little bit less than the others. Hmm, well, there you go. What are you doing out there? There's something weird going on out there. Alright, uh, what else did we want? We wanted... There was something else we wanted. Can we make... Uh, no... Is it a sleeping bag? I've not used a sleeping bag before. I've always just used the beds. But... I thought we had some string around here. Oh, yep, yeah, we do. I'm told this is the way to go. So we need four of you. And we need a bunch of you. We need one more of those. Like so. And like so. Alright. And what do I do with it? 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh! Apparently that's what we do with it. And it drops the camel pack out of your pack. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Out off your back it does. Get rid of those. And everything else seems above board. Oh, except for the armor. So we want shoes, helmet, and pants. We got two extra. Now this armor here, it's not half bad, it's also... We'll take with us, why not? Uh, it doesn't heat up, or it doesn't heat you up, so that's the advantage to taking that. And I'm sure there was something else I wanted to do. But for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. Alright, well, I guess this is it. Let's go. I've uh, added a few extra just to get a little bit more height. So the road's going that way, that's the way we're going to go. And hopefully we can make it all the way there in one go. It's the hope anyway. Might be worth getting a little bit of cobble out, not until we land of course. If you change out of your uh, hang glider in mid-air, you will fall. So the road is still over there, good. Good. Making good distance. Probably should have marked the base. That would have been a good idea. Oh! Oh! What do we got? Hey! We got it! Alright. Let's just have a look at waypoints. Latest death. <laughs> um, that'll have to do <laughs> with my marker. Alright. Now we want to avoid these buildings as much as possible. I'm not really well armed. Okay. Just had a phone call. Uh, family member having problems with their website. Anyway, um, back to it. We want to steer clear of these buildings. These buildings, they do have a lot of very nice things inside them and a lot of very dangerous things. They're full of spawners, including probably the, the most dangerous one is what's up top. There'll be pig man spawners and they are they are very dangerous. They will drop down and kill you. They aggro they, they instantly aggro on you. So we're going to try to avoid them as much as we can Come night, I'm going to probably head on up to the top of one of these buildings. Is that a... No, just a writing desk. I thought it might have been a chest I could just snipe. Yeah, we might end up on top of one of these buildings in the night time, and hopefully... We can... Oh, here we go. This is the building we're after. Hopefully we can sleep before too many mobs spawn. Now, inside here... This is the, the building that we need with a little chimney on top. There's three different ones in particular that we're after. Three different chimneys. There will be a lot of different spawners in here. So we're going to go straight in. Check inside the futuristic armor plating. And yeah, there's our first spawner. Uh, ideally you'd have a better pick than this one. This here is pressure chamber. Alright. Pressure chambers, if I'm not too sure if I've done these on camera before. The actual graphic for them being destroyed does not appear. Bit of a bug there. This is a this is a pretty bad one actually, this building. But you, you can break them, so just stick with it. Now you can see on the map there is a bunch of blaze right in front of me. <laughs> which I'm I'm not looking forward to going and fighting. I'm not even sure that I'm going to bother with it. They're all upstairs. Upstairs is going to be a bunch more bits and pieces. Obviously this particular building with that chimney is a pneumatic craft building. Because we've got ourselves a charging station, which we're not going to say no to. An assembly IO unit, 
And oh my, look at all the compressed iron. Burst plant seeds, squid plant seeds. I've actually got a bit of. I ha I have had squid spawn back at base. So, oops. Why do you want to do that? We'll pick that up. Get rid of you and grab our bucket of water. I don't know if this is gonna work or no, it's it's not going to. Do I wanna go up there? Because blaze rods are actually going to be um pretty useful. So it might be worth might be worth getting up there and Oh, we are already full. Alright. Uh, I don't really want you. You, I do. Fantas you know what? I'm gonna just use you as a step. A fantasy block. Right. Why not? This is very dangerous. I would not recommend doing this. We do have the sink the sink core who's me what's it stationed back at base so nice <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't planning on coming up right here but <laughs> okay uh... ow shot me we need to get back up there for our bucket of water and we're also... there is a way that you can pick up spawners at the moment. However, it's going to be removed, so I'm sorry. It's not... it's not something that you're going to be able to do for much longer. Oh my... word! Just a few of them up there. Just a few. Let's head up this way. See if we can't get up there. If we can't take out the spawner, I'm I'm probably going to just grab my bucket of water. If I can. Oh, that's a chest. That's not what I was after. Alright, we'll go this way. It's gonna be a little bit longer episode, just because I've already lost track of time with that phone call I just took. Have a quick little look. See if there is any other chests. No, just the spawner. Oh, that wasn't my water. Just the spawner. So we're going to leave it because, yeah, blaze rods actually not a bad thing. All right, we've got our bucket of water. Let's let's move on. That's pretty much all we're going to get out of this one. And we don't want to go near you. Let's just get rid of some of these things. We want to find another one of these fancy buildings. Here we go on for water. Not great. Unfortunately, all the cities, they are different. And they're random. So you've pretty much just got to run around until you find the buildings that you want. We've pretty much run right out the far side. If we kept running that way, we'd probably find another city... Oh, there's an enderman. Another city within... Sort of... I think it's somewhere between five and 600 blocks away. They won't spawn within... I can see a chest. Some water, cobwebs, red stuff. Oh, that's not a chest. Yeah, they, they spawn within a thousand blocks of a city. And each city is about half that. There's a spawner in there. A pigman spawner. Oh god, get away, get away. This is actually not a great city so far. Oh, hang on, hang on. We found another one. There we go. Chimneys, excellent. And also... Oh, there is some kind of a... A spawner there. Don't need the dust. Might grab these though. 
It's a blaze spawner. You should get rid of a bunch of these things. And make a run for it. Oh! Big man shooting me. Big man shooting me. Oh, blaze, blaze. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where's the spawners? Right there. I'd recommend having a slightly better pick than this when you come into the city because, yeah, taking out these spawners, you want to do it as fast as possible. Ah! -ah! And we are getting to night. And we are definitely getting to night. Two, three, four, five. Let's... Let's get ourselves a little bit of cobble. And get as high as we can. I've left it a little bit late. Just a little bit late. Ooh. It's steep as well. And... Ouch. Sleeping bag, please. Ooh, a bucket of water. Oh, gotta be very careful on these roofs. They are concrete. Concrete, you'll run. You'll you'll run if you go near it. And my god. Or on it, I should say. Ah Which uses up your hunger. Which also means you can't go through a too high gap. Alright, well, I suppose this here is going to be our base if we are allowed. What the hell just shot me over there? Leave me be! Alright, well, let's just grab you and you there, you there, and we've got ourselves a nice little base. Alright, we've got ourselves a filing cabinet which is not so useful. Oh, hey, high oven controller, scorched brick, ardite, ardite ingots, excellent. Will not let me use the sleeping bag at the moment, sadly. So I'll definitely put you away. Not going to need you or you. Uh, water, we may as well switch over. Can't put it away though. Might have grabbed a little bit too much cobble, maybe. Just maybe. Swipe a little bit in the chest there. Right, anything else that we don't really need right away? Nope. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of these blocks. Don't need them. Let's whack them away. I'm going to put down a bit of light in here as well. <laughs> wow. There is a lot of spots for them to spawn out there too. Let's just light it up a little. Alright, now we have a... We've got a gas now as well. Jeez. There is a lot of blaze down below us, so... Not just blaze, there's a lot of everything down there. Let's fill it up with water. Get that marble block back. If we grab the chisel. Now this is one that has been asked about. Can you put the items in there and get back the base material they were made from? Um, factory block? Factory? It's usually one of these up here, otherwise I don't really know what it was made from. Can't actually see the recipe, I don't think. 
I'm pretty sure Iskandar would have thought about that one, that exploit. So all you can do is make a bunch of fancy looking blocks. A fancy circuit block, for example. But anyway, too good to be true. We're gonna have to make all our blocks the old fashioned way. Don't need you. Still not going to be able to sleep, what with it being full of mobs downstairs, but wish we'd brought a little bit of wool. Hmm. Well, seeing as we're not going anywhere, I'm going to cut. And when we come back, hopefully all those mobs are gone. See you soon. Alright, we are back. Um, basically I just ran away. <laughs> I'm hoping it's the LD spawn. So we're going to head back. There was just way too many mobs to deal with. Uh, we do have some zombie pigmen over there. As I was running by, they kind of seen me and came after me. And they've seen me again. Here's the building though. Left my water in there. I managed to sleep. I did manage to sleep. All the mobs are gone though. So let's get in here. Now the spawner is usually somewhere inside here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so that one's gone. Oh, and an enderman spawner. Excellent. Well, what do we get from this building? Oh, hey now, some seeds. Don't go too close to that building. We don't, we don't want anything spawning from over there. Let's get our water back. Just to make things a little bit easier for us. Come on. Yep, there we go. Well, this one here is clearly a Tinkerer's Construct building. This is where we're going to get our smelter from. So we've got our cracked seared bricks. Definitely going to grab you. Uh, seared drain, is it? Got you there. Some more bricks. So we should be able to make, hopefully, our smeltery out of this. And our pickaxe has just leveled up. Neat. Alright, what are you? Smooth blackstone. That's the road underneath. What have we got in here? Cobalt. And a deep tank controller. Very nice. Uh, sadly, we are out of room. Again. Alright, end of plans. Sorry, you're gone. Uh, I don't need you or you. Let's leave them there. Definitely taking you and an alamite axe head. Yes, please. Over here we've got ourselves another casting table. Will not say no to you. Scorched brick. That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> that is the one I wanted. Alright. Futuristic armor plating. No, thank you. Scorched brick, however. Let me in here, thank you. Scorched brick is the high oven construction block. So we are going to grab a bunch of you. And you there. Oh, some more. I'm not going to leave any of this behind. The more of it you get, the better your your oven is going to be. Light blue stained glass. I wouldn't mind coming back and getting some of these these things for construction purposes. Don't want you though. Another cracked scorch brick. Get rid of this glass though. That's very annoying. Very annoying stuff. Where else? Another one here. Sometimes, yeah, you can see it all through all through this tower here so I'm going to take it all hopefully we haven't found every building yet that I'd like to have found the city is quite dangerous so you should just be happy to get out with whatever you can That one, and one more up here, I think. No, two more up there. Yeah, there's one. 
if we can just get to it. Thank you. And thank you. Right, so how much did we get? 27. Mm, might, might just be enough. You, I don't need. Or you. Want you, don't need you. Anything else we can get rid of? Some more cobble, I guess. Possibly came with just a little bit too much of that stuff. Alright. Whack you away. Let's dump a bunch of this stuff in here. It's as good as we're going to get, it would seem. And keep on looking. Let me go through this way. Here we go. Um, no thank you, zombie. We'll have none of you. Oh, hey now. Oh, hey now. we got pigmen chasing me. Dang. Alright, we have found another one. This is another one of the buildings that we want. And we've got ourselves a giant zombie that is absolutely powering. And we were not fast enough to get in here, unfortunately. We do have some blaze in here somewhere. Right, this is the, the exact same building. So let's just break the spawner. Keep the water going though. The other spawner over the other side is Enderman. We'll just grab a few. The more the better and all that stuff, but we're getting close to the end of the episode and this place is getting a little bit scary for me. Actually we're well past wrapping up time, but it's the city. It's our first trip to the city. What? A spider spawner right there, and there is another spawner over there. An enderman spawner. Jeez, this one had it all. Move it over there. Yeah, it's going to be good for both what's upstairs and what's down here. Water, that is. Any Enderman spawning, they're going to run straight away. Alright, good. Might as well grab a few extra of these. We can make it a nice big smeltery. Another one of you, yep, won't say no to that. Or I will because I'm my inventory is full again. There we go. Ho! Oh, Lee! No pigman, no, 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 a brutish zombie pigman, you've got to be kidding. You couldn't just be an ordinary pigman. They're already aggro to you, so it doesn't matter if you if you get into a position to attack them. You're not going to aggro anymore by doing that. I'm too happy that you're looting their city, I guess. We'll grab this here. I, I'm going to have to come back and explore this city. I'm going to do it off camera though because we do need to find another one of those pneumatic craft buildings. Uh, we need a better pick as well. Oh, come on, let me in. We'll just grab a little, few more of these blocks. Kind of addictive. So I guess that's what Minecraft is all about. Being addictive. You just one more block, one more block, one more block. Alright, well this will be the last of it. Uh one there as well. We'll collect you. And I'm gonna have to call it right there. I'm gonna make a run for it back to base. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode though, if you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time, back at base. Bye bye.